Well, hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back to Dawn of Man. Today, we're in charge of some mammoth instead of man. In this scenario, you control a herd of mammoths. You can select them and issue various commands. Right-click on the terrain to travel. Right-click to attack. Beware of predators. All right, so we need to reach the river fork. Every mammoth must survive. All right, looks like, uh, I guess, uh, Granddad and the two parents and the kids are with us here today. If you'd like to see more of uh, Dawn of Man, make sure you go ahead and click or tap that like button. This is a city-building game, but uh, there's a different game over where we also get to play as the uh, woolly mammoth here and do a few other things to simulate prehistoric, uh, I guess, wildlife and life. So it is a, quite a fantastic game. So welcome to the new subscribers, and thanks again for showing your support and voting to see more. All right, it looks like we need to get to the uh, river fork here, and we need to be aware of predators. We probably will travel further than this. We'll have to watch out for things such as bears, any, anything that's meat-eating, basically. I, I don't know if bears would attack woolly mammoth. They probably would stick to salmon, but there's a chance... That we could be attacked by wolves and big uh, groups of them as well. So let's go ahead and continue moseying on down uh, towards the river fork then. I guess there's really nothing between us and the river fork. So let's go ahead and uh, see if we can get our troops here to move. Come on, boys. Let's go. There we go. Woolly mammoths should be moving now. Let's see. All right, they're on the move. Okay, so uh, I don't know if we can speed up time or not. Looks like we can. So let's go ahead and go times four. And, uh, yeah, woolly mammoths are kind of slow, but I don't even know what they eat. Uh, I'm assuming uh, grass and, and uh, probably uh, any sort of plant life, such as, uh, like, uh, leaves. But uh, I don't know specifically what type of leaves. But here in this uh, glacial wasteland, we will have to survive. I'm assuming there's some ambushes set up along the river. So, so long as I think, as, as long as we take the river, we should be okay. We definitely need to defend the kids. Let's see who it is. Uh, there's an old female with us. So it's Grandma. Got an adult female and uh, probably an adult male. So uh, gra we got grandma and the two kids. Hopefully I didn't leave any of them behind. All right. Oh, there we go. All right, they were in such a organized line, I couldn't see the other ones. This reminds me of from the movie Jungle Book. Do you remember where they all walked in line where uh, they grabbed nose to tail? That type of thing? All right, I don't know if that's a predator. I think he's, uh, or she, is more of a wildlife uh, eating uh, grass, grass eating, uh, herbivore. There, that's the. Is that does that apply to mammals that eat her? Oh, maybe they're a carnivore. I don't. I actually, I don't know. But uh, I guess we're gonna find out soon enough. I guess it's the first task, just navigating through this world. I don't think we can. Uh, I'm gonna try to stay away from that creature. There we go. We're just, we're just chilling, bro. Now they were able to cross the water here, and it looks like we're able to do the same. So let's travel. I guess I'm gonna just travel right there. However, however it does it. Ooh, don't want to split off. Ooh, uh-oh. Uh, maybe splitting up. Maybe maybe that's a good idea. Just in case we get ambushed, we can just run. I don't know if there's any... Uh, okay, it doesn't look like there's any sort of, like, uh, rush mode or anything like that. No no speed run. Where's the, uh... I guess they were afraid of us. Good. Oh, there's the baby. Hiding, <laughs> hiding under mom. Oh, there we go. Perfect. All right, Woolly Mammoth have made it through the first trek of the journey. Reach the big lake. Every, month, am, every mammoth must survive. Okay. Uh, where is that? The big lake. Where is the big lake? Hmm. Well, it must be along the river somewhere, so it's either to the left or straight ahead. Let's zoom around and look. Beautiful landscape, though. Uh, so there's even more river forks. We might have to watch out for a human village, too. There's a chance that humans could attack us. We'll need to watch out for that. Huh, I don't see the big lake. Ah, oh, there it is over there. Wow, that's a long distance away. All right, all the way over here is what we're looking for. Okay, there could be humans set up around here. If a human encampment is around, it's probably uh, going to be in flat land. Ah, uh, right there, I bet. I bet there's humans sitting right there. Okay, let's zoom back to the herd, and let's go ahead and speed up time now. All right, we got to make sure all five are alive. Two young mammoths, and the old and uh, old female, and the two uh, male and female adults. Well, this is quite an interesting game mode and a very nice surprise from the developers. When I saw this ch quote unquote challenge mode, I thought it was quite interesting. Obviously, they should man, they should be able to climb maybe over here, but um, it is nice that you get to be able to play as something very cool, a woolly mammoth like that. So it's very, very nice. Very unique. All right, well, instead of going with the AI's weird pathing, let's go ahead and do, like, a more realistic pathing. And instead of, it, like, climbing the side of the mountain like we're Alexander the Great, we're just going to go through over here and see if we can make our way down to the river this way. Or the the big lake. Uh-oh, wolf. Oh, there he is. 
Getting attacked. Eh, get him. There we go, we're ambushed. Where is he? Run, kids. Graham will take care of this. There we go, got him. Alright, hold on, reorganize, reorganize. Link up, link up. Alright, the kids got hit in the butt a little bit, maybe. Ooh, this mammoth. Ooh, she got real, real wrecked. Wow, two wolves can cause that much damage? Okay. Right, they, I think they might be able to heal after a while. Maybe as time goes on, so long as they have food and such, they'll heal slowly. Hopefully. Cave lion now. Oh, there. They seem to just run through the herd, and then that's it. All right, let's keep the two kids over here. While they're doing these hit-and-run attacks on the kids. Well, let's get let's get mom to hang over here. I wonder if we can put them into battle groups. That might be easier. Oh, they, oh no, that, that's just game speed one. So I can't necessarily adjust speed. That cave lion's got to be taken down. Let grandma in there. Let grandma get a piece of the action. There we go. Take it down. Fantastic. I don't think we can eat those, but... All right, let's head back over this way. All right, we better go in normal uh, speed now. Oh, wait. Uh, reach the small lake. Oh, I guess we're going from checkpoint to checkpoint looking for food. Are we just looking for maybe... Uh... Oof. I don't know if I want to go over here. Let's just try. Okay, so we need to be really careful about pathing where AI tries to split off and also predators. So let's go ahead and... F Before we reach that checkpoint, let's just link up here. And I don't think we can actually... S Wait a minute. Uh oh, it looks like there's a wolf within the... Oh, it's dead. Okay. Now, the wounded one is definitely slower. Wow, that young female. She's having a bad day. Well, can we drink? Right, let's have a little drink. Okay, hopefully that quenches their thirst. I may they only drink if they're under a certain level. Alright, let's go over this way. There doesn't seem to be any controls to really help them out. And she's very hungry. I don't know if we can just eat. Oh boy, that one's not going to make it. Alright, let's see. She's uh, pretty much out of food. Wolf attack now. Where? They're so hard to see because uh, they, the uh, wolves will keep... Oh, first of all, AI is programmed to go only for the babies. But also, there's no, like, attack move. Like, we, there's no way for us to stop as we go along. Reach the plains now. Oh, are you kidding me? Is there any sort of, uh... Is there any area here that's actually inhabitable? Or where there could be food? Maybe we just need to get through the mountain pass. It seems like... Oh, boy. This is... We're barely going to make this one. This... Uh, little baby is pretty much out of food. Exhausted and in need of uh, nutrition because of the wounds. Stay with Grandma, sweetheart. I'm just going to smash the... The moment some of that music kicks up, I'm just going to smash the, uh, uh, the space bar. Oh, does double right click make him run? Oh, it sure does. I take it slow, sweet. Oh, uh, yeah, just go. Oh, excellent. I didn't know you could do that. Double right click makes them run. Whoa, 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 whoa. where are you going there, Stampy? All right, let's, let's regroup. Come on, little baby. Oh, apparently she ate? Oh, now they found food again. Okay. I thought it was all over, but it seems like somehow they found food. Hmm, there's definitely going to be an ambush in here. Oh, the winter's ending. Fantastic. All right. We're not out of the woods yet, literally. Is there going to be a big battle here towards the end? Your herd has survived the march. Well done. Let's see here. Oh, it all, it all, it all came to an end. Darn, I wanted to see what would happen. Well, that was interesting. Let's go on to a new game here and see what other challenge modes allow us to move on. As you can see, I've uh, finished off most of our playthrough over here. 
except for finishing the last episode of our current playthrough of Continental Dawn, which is where you've been seeing the original City Builder. But the Northlands here seems to be a uh, continuation of uh, that campaign, except even harder, which basically means it'll longer win winters and shorter summers. So you can put it in the Super Ultra Challenge mode if you want to. All right, well, next we're going to build a Temple of the Sun and see how that works. And then there's the Shepherds and then Before Dawn, which it seems to be... Um, maybe more scenarios for one building a temple two being a farmer and then three maybe doing the same except being a woolly mammoth uh, or uh, I mean a woolly rhino rather than a mammoth and then creative mode which allows us to uh, I think just endless city builder in the, the stone age or the metal age it's interesting I wonder what creative mode means maybe it's just unlimited money and you get to do whatever you want just build your own, like a giant um, settlement as large as you'd like to all right, well, that was the uh, Bygone Tales Episode 1 for the Long March. Stay tuned for Temple of the Sun Part 2. Again, if you want to see more of this, make sure you click or tap that like button and uh, share with a friend and subscribe. Thank you, everyone, for all your continued support throughout these uh, campaigns and everything. This game has been really fun so far, and I'm really surprised at how in-depth it is. And uh, I really want to see more. And so if you do, too, let me know. Thanks, as always, for your support. You all have a fantastic day, and I will see you all next time. Thanks, as always. Bye-bye.